Hi there, it's Cindy again. I'm doing my March haul for you. I've been trying to save money for my big road trip I'm taking in June, so I actually don't have too much stuff. If you just watched my March favorites, you would have seen this shirt. It's from Topshop, and it just says Supernatural on it. It has a skull and a ne two skulls and a neon pink triangle. You can see me wearing it in my book review videos, and you can just see how it just like pops on screen so nicely. So I'm definitely going to take this with me on my trip. Um, and I just love that it says Supernatural because I'm such a Supernatural fangirl. And I just love that show and I love the Winchesters. So it's a little homage to them even though it's not like an official shirt or anything. And that was $32 Canadian, um, £27 or $36 American. And this is a size 6 or UK 10 and it fits really, really nicely. It's a little bit cropped but not a belly shirt. Next thing are these shorts. They're from Airy. They're just a canvas short. They're a little bit high-waisted, but I can kind of, because they're not too tight, I can kind of pull them down a bit if I want a bit more modesty in the leg, um, and then hike them up if I'm wearing tights or if it's a hot day. They just have a flat pocket in the back, and I really like this cut of shorts. I think it's very flattering. There's something a bit retro about them, which I really like. And they look great with button downs, they look great with little sweaters, um, t-shirts, whatever. Because they're a bit like the canvas material, they're a little bit more, not dressy, but I guess city appropriate than, than just a basic denim cutoff. But these cost $34.50 and they, I believe they came in another color as well. I think they came in black, but I love navy blue. And um, I got them actually on a day when I think everything was 30% off, so they were an amazing deal. These got sent to me by a PR company. I just wanted to uh, mention them quickly. They are these new fashion line from Secret Pantyhose. Now normally, I only buy Secret Pantyhose for sheer tights because I don't like to spend a lot of money on sheer tights because they're always gonna run. And Secret makes great easy ones that are cheap at the drugstore. But these fashion tights are super cute. I'm obsessed with these black ones. They are like pinstripe. They're really, really cool on. They'll be great with denim shorts, great with little black skirts and dresses at night. I just think they have a little bit of like a rock and roll punk vibe to them. Hopefully you guys can see that. And they have a control top, which is always nice. You know, if you're wearing a really tight dress, um, it really helps to squeeze everything in. They also sent me a couple other ones these gray crisscross ones and these white floral ones. I love these floral ones. I'm not so much a fan of white. But I definitely would buy these in black if I saw them in the store. But these might look really nice with um, a little floral dress. But they're just really, really cool floral tights. The line is um, out for spring 2012. She didn't give me any information on where they were sold or anything, but I'm assuming at like Walmart, Target, drugstores, because Secret is sold usually in those kinds of stores. But yeah, really nice tights. Really like these. I bought this Sons of Anarchy t-shirt at um, Doc's Leathers on Queen Street. They have a huge variety of Sons of Anarchy stuff there, and it's usually pretty well priced. This shirt, I think, was around $30, and it's a girl's shirt with the classic SOA um, Grim Reaper on it. They're getting a ton of stuff in for April, so I'm going to go back and get something else, like maybe a hoodie. Speaking of motorcycle graphics, there's an incredible Zara t-shirt coming out for April in TRF that I'm definitely going to get my hands on. It's like a motorcycle club t-shirt. Yes, I want it really badly. <laughs> anyway, um, love this so much. And if I told you the funny story about being in docks, if you go there and you decide to try something on, keep in mind that their change room is, doesn't have a door that actually works, nor does it have any surface in there that's actually not mirrored, including the ceiling. So definitely if you're a girl, wear a tank top so that when you take your top off, you're not flashing everybody your bra. But the guys there are super, super nice, and they weren't like being gross or anything, so I think it's just so people don't steal like as a, as a deterrent. But uh, yeah, there's a tip for you. The next t-shirt I bought is from Victoria's Secret Pink, and it's from their MLB Major League Baseball line, and they just got the Blue Jays in their line. They actually have every single team now. Last year they didn't. I got the medium because it's really fitted, and I don't like when things are super tight. Um, and it is kind of expensive at $39.50. So it has a really deep v-neck, which is so flattering on, and the fabric is soft and really, really good quality. And on the back, it just says play ball and pink. And this is such a cute t-shirt. My last item, yeah, I really didn't buy that much at all this month, is this sweater from Mango. It's such a cool, um, lightweight summer sweater with this Aztec 
kind of tribal Navajo type design in these soft peaches and mint green and beige. And Kate Moss wears this on, on the front or the back of the mango catalog for spring, I can't remember, but it only cost $29.99 um, Canadian, so it's a really, really good deal. And I got it in the US size medium or the European large. I really prefer US small European medium as for sizing at mango, but this was the only size they had left because uh, this shirt has been so super popular. And we only have one mango now in Toronto. All the other ones closed, so I just snagged it anyway. It looks better with um, skinny jeans and leggings and jeggings than with shorts. If I got this smaller one, I could have worn it more with shorts, but um, still, I mean, it might be too hot to wear in the dead of summer anyway, so I'm trying to get as much use out of it as I can over the next few weeks. I also bought an awesome iPhone this month. That was my big splurge purchase, and I got a couple iPhone covers. You have seen this uh, TNA iPhone cover in my March Favorites video. Um, it was $20. I actually bought it this month in April, but I included it in the video just because all my other covers aren't here yet. But I bought just a plain white cover, I bought a little cat cover from Japan, and I bought a Supernatural um, quotes cover off Cafe Press. So I'm really excited for all of those to arrive and I can start using them. So that brings me to the end of my haul. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!